Uh, we're live again at Live Art last Fridays at the Edward A. Dixon Gallery. And today we're here with Julie Riley. So I'm going to let her introduce herself and tell us a little bit about her art. Okay. Hi, Ed. Um, well, I'll start like a long time ago. Um, I was interested in art as a kid, and I did art till probably my 20s or so. And after that, I started getting real jobs because, you know, everybody says artists can't make their money. And uh, so I worked in graphic arts and with computers and software. About um, eight years, eight, nine years ago, I left work to take care of my parents. They both had dementia. And as that was coming to an end, I was kind of thinking, you know, what would I really like to do again, get back into? And I decided to pursue my art. I think I've been uh, blessed with some skills. And so I've been probably working with my art again for about two and a half years. And uh, I've got a small studio space over on Front Street. And I've um, been pretty successful in this past year that I've been down on Front Street. So what's your main type of art that you work in the mediums? The me well, I work mostly in oil. I do uh, some in acrylic. And I started out doing just realism work because I love detail and whatnot. But since I've been painting, I've started to work a bit uh, more loose. And I'm uh, doing more abstracts with um, foods. And uh, so I don't, um, I know I have bird paintings here, but uh, I do paint more than just birds. But uh, I still do the realism work, but I'm moving more towards uh, um, using looser strokes. And, that sort of thing. Okay, now uh, you mentioned the birds, so tell us about the uh, project that you have coming up here. Yeah, uh, November 2nd on First Friday over at uh, the Orphanage Gallery in the Front Street building. Um, there's uh, two other artists, Janet uh, Garlico and uh, Samantha Farkas and I. We're going to be having a uh, art show called Birds of a Feather, and it's all bird-based artwork. Mm -hmm. And they'll be um, abstract, representational. Janet does work on steel. Uh, Samantha uses a lot of inks and watercolors. And I'll be doing uh, both the representational and uh, abstract in oil and acrylic. Well, tell us a little bit about the piece that you, that you have with you. This piece that I have here, this is um, a starling that uh, I painted. And it's a friend of mine took a photograph. And I decided to add a lot of color to it and a color running down because uh, starlings are one of the few birds where they actually have pigment in their uh, feathers. Most uh, have light that bounces off of birds and gives them their color. So when you see starlings on a sunny day, depending you know, on, on where they're sitting, a lot of uh, reflection comes off them. So you see a lot of uh, blues and greens, yellows, pinks, and whatnot. And um, they're kind of a bothersome bird, but they're really pretty when they're in the sun. So I wanted to kind of reflect that in this painting. Okay. All right. Well, tell us again uh, when and where is the show? It's November 2nd. It starts at uh, 5 p.m. It's at the Orphanage Gallery, and it's down at the uh, Front Street buildings on Detroit Street. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for uh, coming in and doing an interview. Thank you, Ed.